Well, uh, a, a big hello, and what can I say? I am absolutely privileged because I'm um, sitting next to the great Ilias Iliadis, uh, Olympic champion at 17, three-time world champion, one of the greatest judoka of all time, and uh, he's sitting here, and he's my new training partner, all right, because we meet in the gym, don't yeah, we? Right. <laughs> Ilias, welcome. I'm going to just uh, ask you straight away, just a question. How does it feel to be at a world championships and not fighting? You know, uh, it's feeling it's really different. Be why? Because uh, this is Japan. You know, you come home. You come like uh, judo home, you know, and the feeling is really great, really different feeling. But, you know, my soul is like staying in here and I want to fight that's why you know I training every day because we are fighters we can't uh, without this life Honestly. well I was going to ask you that question because I know that we I mean we meet in the gym you know that I like the training as well <laughs> you know I do I know. Um, but I was going to ask, you, you know, motivation, you know, a lot of people ask me, <laughs> sorry for, uh, no, it's all right. um, a lot of people ask me, you know, young, you are my motivation, Ilias, you are my, but guys, I want to say, I have this guy my motivation, because when I was kid, I heard this voice, and now I stay with Nelly, you are a really great person, you are, you know, Nelly, I know a lot of generation grew up about your voice, about your things, and I am so lucky who, who who is this guy generation <laughs> yeah. hey well there's nobody you know sometimes we get great we know we get good champions you know we uh, we but uh, then sometimes we get great champions and uh, i i uh, you're one of the greats you really are you won the olympic uh, gold medal at 17 years of age now uh, before we go there just tell me how did you start how did it all begin uh, you know, uh, everyone know I born in Georgia. Okay, Georgia, we have like uh, traditional wrestling, Chidaoba. So we are like we kids fight all all day. We are like wrestling. So that's why I chose judo. It's like similar. And uh, when I start, like you know why I like judo, because when I go first time in dojo, I see like 200 kids. And inside, and everyone was silent. Nobody you knows speak. But because in school in Georgia, well, well, it was 20 or 25, and one teacher, please be quiet, be, be quiet. And I was like this uh, situation. And when I go in dojo and gym, in the judo, and I see 200 kids, it was like be quiet, nobody you knows speak. And I say, how is possible? <laughs> That's it, yeah. You know, yeah. it's possible if you love. If you if you love if you have big respect and that's why I say this is my place. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so first time, uh, what was the first competition that you actually won? So important competition was like uh, when I was 15 years old in uh, Turkey. Uh, it was cadets. Yeah. It was so important for me because who got we was in like two finalists in Georgian championships who go in a gold medal he go in European championships cadets and I, I, I become champions and I go in European champions for cadets so that's why it was for me was like wow uh, well, uh, and life. I remember the world championships when you were 71 kilograms Oh hey, my God. yeah, <laughs> and do, do you remember yeah, you, and, and Kanamaru? Kanama, you you yeah. fought Kanamaru. I, I think it is greatest fight in my life. Yeah, yeah. It was like, you know, I remember Kanamaru. This my, this time was finalist. You remember in yeah, world championship? I, I, yeah, I remember. Was, yeah, of course. <laughs> and he was like great fighter, fast fighter, and so Enagi was like crazy. So Enagi fighter. Tell them how old you were. How old were you? Uh, now or you no? Know, when, when when you fought Kanemaru, 2016. 16. Uh, I'm going to tell you, right? This guy was 16 years of age. Came out. It looks like he does now, <laughs> but but uh, a little bit younger. But yeah, 70, know, yeah, 71 kilograms. Fought the great Kanemaru. Kanemaru had the shock of his life. Yeah, he yeah. did. He was surprised. Yeah, yeah. when we when finished Rador competition. Kanamaru was go and outside and I remember coach taking him to go to don't go in down. So it was so great. But thank you Kanamaru if you will see now 
I want to say thank you very much for this great fight. And I've never seen a guy so glad to get off the tatami. You know, Kanemaru, he was really glad to get off there. And he went like, I remember, and he was so pleased to go through to the next round. But this 16-year-old exploded. And then one year later, you became Olympic champion. Yeah. Did you, when you went to that Olympic championships, did you expect to win? So I tell you, you know, when I was kids, like uh, 10 years old, 11 years old, my dream was to become to Olympic champion. Not just dream, I believe my dream. Yeah. And I said every day was like preparation for Olympic Games. Every day was like this. That's why I want to say every young generation. Did you go for the medal or did you go to win it? Just go. Just go. <laughs> because before yeah. I go in Olympic I go in Olympic Games, I win European championships. I was in the third in uh, Paris, Grand Slam. I was third in uh, Dusseldorf. In Ger I was like, you know, coming and monster is coming, monster is coming. <laughs> I was, I feeling, you know, every day I feeling nobody can beat me, nobody. I was like this feeling, and when I when he coming this 17th uh, of August, I remember August. I would, I remember this day uh, when I wake up. I was like, oh my God, this day is come for me. And then when you actually uh, became Olympic champion and you got home and you thought, I am Olympic champion now, uh, did you think After I want... After start, to yes. it's difficult life. After start, you know what I mean, keep your title. You know, it's, Nelly, you know, you know, it's easy you can become champion, but it's after start, yeah. it's difficult. You must keep in your title, you know. When you are Olympic champion, everyone to win. Everyone wants to beat you, understand? Yeah. And that's why. And everybody wants to practice with you. Everybody wants, you know, to throw you. And I still get it now. 60 years of age, you know, and when I'm on the tatami, they still want to, to fight me, you know? It's crazy, isn't it? It's yeah, a crazy exactly. mentality. Exactly. And, and when you are Olympic champion, your life is changed. Change why? Why I say? Because you must intention everything, every word every you are step because behind you is coming young, young generation we can't do like normal no. people like normal people we can't this one Nelly. we know why because yeah. we aren't faced uh, yeah. judo yeah. and I, I another question i was going to ask you was where when it came towards the end of your career of your competitive career is it something that you knew where you were coming to the end uh, it's, more and more difficult to become world champion or you know more and more difficult to become olympic champion did you know there was a time to finish you know uh, maybe in uh, in my uh, my mind was not but i feel my body was tired really. yeah. and my injuries mind, yeah exactly you know my mind and my heart it's i never say i'm stopped in my mind in my but you know my body you and know it's yeah. six times a surgery you know broke your hand three times I was like you know and wake up morning and you show pain you know, you know when you preparation for uh, world championships and the Olympic Games you need really tough training yeah. and that's why I feeling these things and now you have a, a family uh, uh, how does the family how does that affect your your mindset, you know, it you changes know, your life. Uh, yes, change it changes my life because now I I have more time to stay with my family, with my kids. Before when I was judoka, you know, when I was athlete, you know, I stay with my family, but my, with my heart and with my mind was like same in the in the competition, sailing, turning. I I I don't was like 100 percent with my family, you know. But now I am 200% with, yeah, with my family. Well, because my your, your family is everything, isn't yeah, it? Course, uh, it becomes course, the number course. one priority. Yeah. I know that you're still incredibly physically, um, and you know, and you were talking about monster, you know, but, but you, uh, you could go on there now, and I know that you could still go on there with the very, very best, you know, but um, where, where now? For you, for Ilias Iliadis now, what, what is your future? The next 10 years? You know, my future is judo. It's my, I, I stay. When I dead, 
I think I stay with, I did with my <laughs> judo. We, we'll bury you. Yeah. No, no, but we, that's never gonna, it's <laughs> yeah. not gonna happen. Yeah, for a long uh, time. We, okay, we joke. You know, my future, it's like, uh, I see my future in judo, become good coach, become yeah. best uh, coach, you know, and this is not easy. I know yeah. it is not easy, you know, when you are coach, it's really difficult, mainly. Yeah. You know, this feeling, you know, and uh, I want to uh, try, it, you know, come, become like good coach. I want to share my experience. experience I, I think that's one of the main things that I said, you know, when I finished uh, com competition, I was lucky that I, I got into the, the commentary and, uh, you know, for the voice. Mm. and. So it kept me, my name there, but I think that, that that is an important thing to have that kind of direction. But uh, I think that you always want to give to judo, don't yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. It's you. Ilias Iliadis is not uh, just a great champion, and I'm, I'm not just saying this to you because you're sitting here, but he's not just a great champion, but he is a great man Thank as well. You. I appreciate and, uh, that. And, uh, and he gives, uh, I think, he gives to people, he gives to everybody. Um, we can't go without just talking about the uh, competition that's happening yeah, behind yeah. us because obviously we've got all the judo happening yeah. here. Favorites for today? Favorites for today. I, uh, guys, I don't want to say, you know, uh, I want to wish all judoka uh, good luck, but you know, guys, everyone know Georgi is my brother, Alexander <laughs> Aya is my brother, guys, and uh, my favorite today. Are they going to upset the um, the balance of the competition today? Because everybody's looking at the two Japanese uh, possibilities, Mariyama and, hey, and, and hey, Abe. And Nelly, you know, this is judo. This yeah. is judo. You Anything never can know. Yeah, exactly. You never know. <laughs> we can, maybe we see the new uh, world champion like yesterday. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, exactly. I mean, we haven't seen actually uh, a world championship start without the Japanese leading in the world uh, in the medals, uh, except today we started, and uh, of course, they're not leading. They're no gold medal so far. Uh, possibility it might not happen again today, but uh, two very strong Japanese in here. Yeah, well. Abe and uh, how is it? Uh, 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 and Mariama. And Mariama. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Mariama is king of Uchimata for me. Yeah. Abe is king of Soenage, but we have also Kata. It's Andalaya, they're also in two Georgian guys, don't forget. Two Georgian guys, yeah. they're getting, yeah, uh, oh and my one God. of them is number, number one in the one world. Number one in the world, yeah. yeah. Margulashvili, yeah. 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 Uh, also he's junior, he's a young yeah. guy, he's so, so strong. Yeah, well, I've got to say about the fantastic uh, camaraderie of that uh, Georgian team. They have a really uh, yeah. close unit, don't Yeah, they? you know, this is Georgia. Yeah. We have hot blood, yeah. we have family. Hot blood. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We, we we have you know we are a family we know price to our family yeah. understand uh, we appreciate our family yeah. we appreciate our friends yeah. we are friends not just outside no. we are friends everywhere well and we noticed that yesterday where with the gold medal when everybody was coming down Lipatiliani came this, down yeah. everybody came down we, of course celebrate. of course yeah. when we are staying in one family it doesn't care you are Olympic champion yeah. or world, or yeah. world champion we are one yeah. we are family. And under 52 kilograms, Abe and uh, Susin, uh, I, uh, there, there are two Japanese possibilities, but of course, Kelmende. Kelmende also, also French girls. Yeah. She's out, uh, she's really strong. Today, really, really great day. Today, we have a really great judo, guys. And, you know, this is judo, we never know. We never know, and uh, you know, sometimes you're privileged to, to sit next to one of the greats, and not only that, a great friend, and uh, to uh, be able to interview one of the greats is a privilege. Uh, so I'd just like to say thank you thank to you my, my dear brother. friend, and uh, you, and good luck as well, you know, with not only, um, you know, with your life in the future, but uh, with your family and your beautiful family. Thank you. Thank you uh, from, uh, well, from Matt's side here. Uh, it's been my privilege and uh, I've just interviewed the, one of the greatest judoka in the world.